Hey guys, I'm just watching some weather here on YouTube and listening to my children fuss upstairs. And, and it occurred to me that uh, you guys should really sub a lot of channels. You know, I know there's some people, it's for whatever. I mean, you look at some of the major, major players out there, some of the biggest guys that have literally, you know, tens of thousands of subscribers. And sometimes they might just have subbed. 12 people, you know, are they really God's gift to YouTube where they don't need to uh, see what's going on out there? They're the provider. I'm the content provider. I don't have time to see what these little people out here are doing. You know, are they're like the 1%. I, I don't buy it. I think it's, uh, I think it's essential that you sub a lot, a lot of channels. Now, I'm not saying that every single video that you're, that you're, I have like, couple thousand subs so it's not like every single video these guys put out is fascinating to me but what happens is is that my subs end up liking or favoriting or commenting and that shows up in my feed and so I'll check out they like uh, so and so liked such and such a video so I go check out the video that they liked I like it too now this guy's interesting to me so I sub him and it's like a chain reaction and that's the only way you're going to broaden your view on YouTube through your feed, in my opinion. And that's why I think it's really essential that you sub a lot of people and that you watch your feed and see what your subs are liking, favoriting, and subscribing to. And then check that out. And what happens, it's like a chain reaction. You will get more and more and more of a view of what's going on out there. I discovered all kinds of people that's way. That's how I ran across uh, Making Masterclass and PR Chico 520 and, and Ebow Me and the Yankee Marshall and Tough Thumbs and, you know, all these people that I would have never even known about, which I find very interesting. I love their videos. You know, if I had only subscribed to, like, let's say, Hickok 45, you know, the guy doesn't sub anybody. He doesn't like anybody. He doesn't comment on anybody. So all I would be watching for the rest of eternity is Hickok 45 because that's all he does. He just puts out his own stuff. I'm not saying that's bad. It's just like with nothing fancy. I mean, yeah, he's fascinating. You know, he runs some great gear. But what happens if you want to see more about what's going on on YouTube? You've got to sub and watch your feeds and then check out what your subs are liking commenting and subscribing to. Just a tip. Check it out, guys.